What up, guys? Disney Chubbs back at it again, and today we're reviewing the Dark Saber. But before we continue with the video, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and at the end of the video, smash that like and tell us that you care. All right, so. I finally got my hands on the dark saber, like you saw in the last episode, um, and uh, I gotta say it's it's a it's beautiful, it's very very beautiful, you know. Uh, let's run that clip. You know, I had to do a little video for you guys. But, okay, so here's what the case looks like. And I'll give you guys a zoomed in version right now. So this is what the case looks like, okay? Once you open it up, it has, and oh, by the way, it's not like your regular legacy cases. This is uh, cardboard. I don't know, I don't know. That, that would have been a very expensive molding to do to do that to do this case this big you know but um it is very nice it's good quality print um i don't know how long it's gonna last but it's nice it's nice packaging you know but let's go move on and see what we came here to see so it opens up like this and then um as you can see it has uh the stand it has the um saber itself it has another piece of stand and these little two little things that hold the, the saber when you put it in so if you see this is what it looks like and then underneath underneath it has this blade here you know and this is the, the dark blade that that's what it has you just take out the the top foam piece this part you take it out and you put it together okay and then this is what you do you take this out let's go ahead and take that out and then set this aside okay um so here's the lightsaber as you saw in the video it's really beautiful it's a very gorgeous lightsaber um, it feels nice in your hand. Um, it's, it's, it's lighter than, um, let's say my Asajj Ventress lightsaber. Uh, it's lighter than my Count Dooku lightsaber. Um, I don't think it's lighter than my Anakin Skywalker saber. Um, but that's an FX saber, so I'm not, I'm only going to talk about legacy lightsabers. So this lightsaber here, you can get at Galaxy's Edge, uh, in Batu. At Doc Gondar's uh, Den of Antiquities, and it's two hundred fifteen dollars and some change uh, total with tax included. Um, that's what you get. And so let me let me let me, sh let me go over this real quick. So the build quality, of course, very nice. Okay, um, is it worth two hundred dollars? No. It's not worth $200, even though I paid for it and it was like, I, I didn't have any hesitation in paying for it um, because I really wanted it. And I've wanted it since 
Clone Wars. Since we saw it, you know, in Clone Wars, we saw it in Rebels, and then we saw it in Mando, which is like, ah, you know, a trifecta, which is beautiful. But, um, so basically, this is where the blade goes. You see, it has a little cap, I took it off. Um, here's the on off switch right here. And then here it's actually uh, compatible with your, um, most of the, what is it called? The, the, I forgot what they call this. There's a name for this, but it's the circle um, belt clip thing. Okay, it's not the, that's not the D-loop, it's the other one. And you can get that also at um, Dark Anders too. It's like 20 bucks. And so build quality, beautiful. Um, it, it sounds good. Um, it, I wish it was a little louder. You know um and it does like all other lightsabers it does do the the little click click thing part yeah if you can hear that and it comes off so yeah it comes off yeah and it comes out it doesn't do anything but it comes on it does that and this is what it looks like with the blade let me see back up a little bit this is what it looks like with the blade oh, on it it I gotta say, it looks it looks super cool. Like, <laughs> it looks very cool. Um, here's the light. As you saw in the video, it's it's like right here. I don't you can't really see it because I have a bunch of lights on me. But um, it does the noises. You can hear the noises. Um, I'm not moving it. Now I'm gonna move it. See that? So it's it's kind of responsive. Right? See, kind of responsive. And this is the clash. So it's pretty cool. You know, the only thing I don't, I'm not, I'm not too keen on. Oh, let me turn it off. The only thing I'm not too keen on is the placement of the activation switch. Um, when I'm trying to like move it around and use it, because it feels like you have, it's more like a, uh, I kind of want to hold it like a katana, you know? I kind of want to hold it like a katana, but it's not. It's not a katana, even though it, it might look like one. Um, but it's a one-handed saber. But because, I don't, you know, it, you got to have small hands to, to do two-handed because this wheel is always going to be bothering you. But whenever I get, try to move up, I always hit that switch and it, it bothers so and, and it deactivates and reactivates and you're trying to like twirl it or move it around and you know do awesome badass combos you know uh it it always turns off and on sometimes you know so you always hit that switch uh it's, it has a cool little feature i mean i wish it was lit up all the way um but it it, it lights up these two panels here and it let me see we can see you guys it lights up these two panels here. I'll give you guys a close-up. These two panels here, and then these two panels are not lit up. So I, I wish this would have lit up all the way through. That would have been cool. Uh, also, like I said, button placement would be better somewhere else, or maybe a switch instead of a button. That would have been better. Um, let's check this out. So overall, um, I like the lightsaber. It's, I love it. It's one of my um, one of my favorite lightsabers that I have. Um, do I feel like it's worth two hundred fifteen dollars? It's not. Um, will would I have bought it if it was more? Probably, because just because it's the dark saber. Now this is one. This is based off of the one on Mandalorian, not the one on Clone Wars. The clone on Clone Wars is a little more boxier, but it does have the same similarities. You know. Um, but then again, it's, it might be because of the animation style. So um, let me show you guys what the stand looks like. So here's the stand, here's the base, and it goes right here. So you put this, you slide this in. Like that, you guys can see that, you can slide it in like that. And then these guys, can you see that? These guys here go into these little, little widgets here. Mm. Yeah, let me go a certain way. 
So they go in here and I don't want to push it too hard because I feel like it might break. It also comes with this. It's a little sticky, like foam sticker kind of thing, and a little Allen wrench. You need the Allen wrench to be able to access the battery for the lightsaber. Okay, so you can re replace the batteries. Um, it has this little pad that you would stick to the bottom of this, like right there so that you uh, can sit the lightsaber on there and it won't move as much and doesn't scratch the surface or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That yeah, comes in the with the with the lightsaber. I think it's a cool thing that it came with a stand. Um, let me see if I can put it on the stand. Let's see. So, It's like that. It's kind of cool, right? I wish it was the stand was better quality. Like for 215 bucks, it's kind of expecting a little more um, in quality of, of the stand. Um, this, I kind of feel like I want to paint it a more black, and because this this black strip here is just too thin. It should be like from here to here, all the way down to the edge of the blade. Uh, I feel like I wanna paint it because, and then add the little lightning bolts. I seen somebody do it on YouTube and I think I wanna do that. Uh, maybe later, maybe I'll do a video of me doing it. Or I can probably measure this out and have my sister-in-law cut me a vinyl that can just go on top of that. A black vinyl that would be actually kind of cool hmm but yeah that's for a later date so that's about it guys um, that's the lightsaber it is very nice it is a legacy lightsaber uh, it was like I said $215 plus uh, change um, and, and it's that's it that's pretty much it I mean overall uh, I would buy it again if I had to I would cry before I bought it but you know it's, it's I like it it's it's super cool because I'm I'm very into the um, like samurai swords and katanas and things like that and of course you guys know I'm into lightsabers and stuff so this one is is very reminiscent of a katana so um and it just it looks very nice i like it it's super it's very it's a very pretty lightsaber <laughs> it's very beautiful and it's crazy because it's like it's a blade instead of a, a tube you know so that's pretty cool um overall i it's it's a fantastic lightsaber i feel like the like i said the sound i feel like it could have been a little louder um it does it is kind of responsive not crazy responsive, but kind of. And um, there's a couple little things like the lights here that I would have uh, liked to have uh, fully lit and the button placement would have been nicer. But overall, it's a great lightsaber. I like it. It's gonna be a nice collection, uh, addition to my collection. The one that I really want and that I've seen a couple of people like post on YouTube and that they, it's actually working a workable uh, version of Kanan Jarrus's lightsaber. That really looks like a katana, and um, that's one of my one of my next ones. I think I think I'm gonna have to shell out some pretty good money for that one because it's like uh, it's not a legacy lightsaber, and it's gonna be um, probably one of those custom made jobs. But we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully, maybe one day uh, um, Disney releases a a, galaxy, a legacy lightsaber version of that. Uh, but overall, guys, I love this lightsaber. It's I'm super happy that I got it, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, also, smash that like and turn on your notifications. She's not here. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. All right, big chubs, out.